that's I dope for somebody to 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 believe, um, because that's half. You know, I don't need to tell you, but half of of uh, the reason that people don't succeed. They don't, they don't even believe. They don't believe that it could happen to them. So when you got somebody who got the vision, they got the talent, but more than anything, they believe that this thing can happen for us. Because at that time, y'all y'all, what were, y'all was really like the first to kind of blow out of the Midwest. I mean, you had a couple of others at that time, but y'all would really came in and did your thing on a high level from the Midwest, when the Midwest was was definitely trailing behind the South, New York, East Coast, and the West Coast, if my memory serves me correct. I just want to, I don't, you know, I'm, the numbers get me so, but I, I just want to, I would like to talk bigger because they leave us out of hip hop. You feel what I'm saying? So let me, let me state the fact that, no, we were the biggest in America. We were the biggest in the world. Right now, Nelly probably is top three, top five American artists to be able to go overseas and will sell out more than any of these artists out here to this day. You know what I'm saying? So we got to realize that part. Like, we was big. We was from St. Louis, and we was the biggest in St. Louis, but we was the biggest in the world, Craig. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, it wasn't no, oh, they, they, man, y'all was probably the first biggest thing. And No, they had Twisted Do It Died, Bone Thugs and Harmony. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff came from Midwest. Eminem, Kanye West, it's so much. We came out a little bit before both of them a little bit, but right. it still, right. it still was like, it still, Mid- Midwest was heavy. You know what I'm saying? You had, from Bone Thugs and Harmony is the biggest group on, known to man. You know what I'm saying? Just point blank period. We can shut it down from there. You know, like nobody done what they done. Number wise, no, no group, not group. Outcast may have caught up after West Collar, but group wise, and it's only because Fuji's didn't do more than one. One, you know what I'm saying? Fuji's would have right. did more albums than maybe so, because Fuji sold too many albums <laughs> on that jump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but Bone Thugs is one of the top groups ever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they from Midwest, you had Twist or Do or Die, and it was a lot from Chicago going on, uh, especially production-wise and things of that nature, singing-wise. R. Kelly was huge, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a lot going on in the Midwest. Michael Jackson's from Indiana, bro. You know what I'm saying? We we got it, we there. Like, the Midwest always been there, but hip-hop-wise, South was killing it so much that when we came out with country grammar, that's all they was thinking that Midwest was Southern. You know what I'm saying? So we got it off. We 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 got the Midwest because they never really had as much at the time. And then but we also got the South because they loved our country grammar. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the East Coast because we was probably the first group that didn't cater to New York. And New York fell in love. They fell in love with it. And it just it was something that New York had against the South so bad that that they took us in. And as you know, the South just flooded. Everybody got songs on the radio now. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they weren't playing. It was us and then they start playing Juvenile. You know what I'm saying? But Juvian, it was out before us, but New York still was hating on it. Still was hating on it. Still didn't want to play it on the radio like they needed to. They just didn't understand how it was so big. You know what I'm saying, Paul? like, how, how in the world did these guys with all gold teeth do this? bling bling and then how are they talking and how are they doing that you know what i'm saying we can't play that that's it's not new york you know what i'm saying i watched them hate on on them you know what i'm saying how they come up here and get the biggest deal out like of all these new york rappers here and and we ain't get that deal you know what i'm saying like so it's it's it was deep at the time but we the biggest walking you know what i'm saying like literally and then we get xed out of all the hip-hop shows all the stuff on netflix is anytime it's a documentary about hip-hop they leave bro out they leave the ticks out, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's and that's silly when we are the numbers. We are the totem pole of where it should go. Anything, if you want to talk about the beginning of everything, fashion, anything, the every melody that you're hearing now is started with us. Like, that's us. That ain't that ain't new. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you think T Pain and them got it? Wasn't nobody rapping and singing like that since Bone. You know what I'm saying? And then we wasn't rapping and singing. We just a melodic rap. 
So right. if you put bars with a melodic rap, oh, you really killing them. And now they just killing them with mel melodic. They ain't even got to put bars in there no more. You know what I'm saying? Like we was making sure we said something. So now when you hear it in 23, it sound like something still. The reason why you're not going to hear everybody else every year no more because it was just melodic. It wasn't bars. It wasn't something something with meat in it. You know what I'm saying? Some it had no uh, in the in the in the in it to last long longevity. So we might be the ones, man. And I and we get left out of all that. So I don't believe in the biggest in Midwest, biggest in St. Louis. I know we was the biggest in the world, Craig, for a damn near three years straight. You know what I'm saying? Everybody took our shit. Everybody, Jaru, Fifty Cent. Everybody followed that melodic hook with the catchy, you know what I'm saying? Like they had to, they had to. They just put a little gangster with it, try to make it a little more gangster than, it, than what we was talking about. Cause we, like I told you, we, we in sync. <laughs> we, <laughs> we was on, we boys to men, we was something different. Like we was, we was on a whole different type of tours than everybody else was on. Our, our front row was girls. Everybody else wanted them hard legs and how every, how they for shows went. That's on y'all. We knew what we was doing. We knew to stay in our lane and do what we doing. I ain't got to punch you in the eye nothing. I can do just this and I'm fine with it. But it leads us out of those conversations because those conversations are ran by men. Those documentaries are made by men of hip hop. So they got they say on what they think and it got to be hard for, for, for it to be. It got to be hard. It can't just be a classic because Country Grammar is a classic. Free City is a classic, but it got to be hard. You got to do something. You got to kill a rapper or something. You ain't talk about us or nothing. You ain't do nothing. They want it. They want it a certain way. And ours was catered more to women friendly and um, dudes who ain't, ain't got to try to be hard all day. Or dudes who actually get some pussy. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.